Hey guys, I'm Lee from Lee Likes Music, the place to make music more meaningful. And in today's video, we're going to talk about Amplifier's album Octopus. It's going to be more of a first impression video. So that's coming up. So Amplifier is a band that I discovered earlier this year, possibly like four or five months ago when they released their newest album, which is called Trippin' with Dr. Faustus. So Amplifier is banned from the UK, I think they're from Manchester, if I remember correctly, and they've been active ever since the turn of the millennia. They're one of the more underrated bands, at least one of the more underground bands. So they have like 15 to 20,000 monthly listeners on Spotify, which is not that much, but they still have a very dedicated fan group. So I don't know if it's correctly to call them a cult band, but maybe they are. Anyways, I listened to Trippin' with Dr. Faustus, that was the first album I listened to by them, and um, man, that is a really, really good album. Just to sum up their sound, they basically create hard rock that is mixed with psychedelic rock that is also merged together with these progressive rock components. So you get a lot of different stuff on their albums, uh, but... You know, they're, they're really solid when it comes to crafting songs and their songs also sound very authentic. It sounds like something you have heard before, but at the same time, it is something you haven't heard before. So if you want to get into this band, if you want to get into Amplifier, definitely recommend you check out, uh, I totally forgot the name right now, Trippin' with Dr. Faustus. There's a link up there if you want to watch my review of it that I did earlier this year. Now, it wasn't actually the trip in with Dr. Falsus that I was going to talk about. I was going to talk about Octopus, which is basically, I think it's their th maybe third or fourth album. I'm not quite sure, but it's one of their earlier albums nonetheless, and it's a lot more progressive. It's a bit more experimental compared to trip in with Dr. Falsus, which is a bit more hard rock inspired. Octopus is a very, very dark album. It starts out with this intro where you hear this person sort of running and all of a sudden it just, it's, it's a very explosive and very unexpected intro to the album. The songs are very progressive. Cell's songwriting is very, um, it's, it's very strange, I would say. I haven't listened that much to the lyrics, but from what I get, he is basing his lyrics off of a lot of fantasy aspects. Now, I want you to keep in mind that once you get into this album, you're locked away. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but it's, it's a very lengthy album. So when you sit down and listen to it, you have to make sure that you actually have quite some time to listen to it. Uh, you know, usually the albums that I listen to are from the length of maybe 30 minutes to 50 minutes. And I guess that's like the average length of any album. But this one is freaking two hours long. And uh, man, now I was listening to this yesterday. I was listening to the octopus yesterday. And this was right before I go to bed, you know, because during the daytime, I edit these videos, I do some social media stuff, a lot of work on the computer. So I don't have that much time to actually listen to music until I go to bed. Now, when I was in bed and I put this on, cranked up the volume and I was like, okay, maybe I'll listen to the octopus because actually one of you guys suggested that I should check it out. Jacqueline, shout out. I closed my eyes and oh my God, it's one of the most creepy, freaky, weirdest experiences that I've had in a very, very long while with any sort of album. Between many of the songs on this album, you'll find that there are snippets, you'll find that there are segments that are ex extremely weird and dark. They're straight out horrifying to listen to. There were like maybe three or four times where I sat in my bed and I had goosebumps on my back because it was so freaking scary to to sit there and listen you never know what to expect with this with this album you hear these noisy avant-garde creepy piano lines sometimes you hear these weird noises that kind of kind of fade into nowhere it all sounds like it's taken out of a scary movie basically and uh yeah 
that that is another aspect about this album that is really cool. It has this visual feature to it. So if you close your eyes and you listen to it, you're you can very easily imagine yourself being at a completely different place in another in another world. I really don't have that much more to share about this album because this was actually the first time I listened to it from start to finish and um, it was quite a daunting, quite a scary and weird and new experience for me and I just wanted to share that with you. Um, so Octopus by Amplifier, go and check it out. Before you check that one out, you might want to check out Dr. Faustus, trip in with Dr. Faustus. Uh, I'll put some links down below if you want to check them out. And uh, yeah, I guess that was what I wanted to share today. Don't have that much more to talk about. I had like 20 minutes to spare before I go to work right now. So I just wanted to share something. And this was some some musical experience that was very meaningful to me, at least yesterday. So yeah. Anyway, I also want to mention that the playlist that you guys have created so far or that we have created so far is turning out really awesome. There, there's just so much various types of rock music on there. Uh, again, for you guys who haven't, who don't know about this, we basically have this uh, monthly vinyl giveaway to you. Well, I'm gonna give away a vinyl to you or two vinyls and a souvenir from Norway. Uh, if you don't know how to be a part of this uh, free giveaway thing, I, I, blah, 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 I highly suggest you click the video up there and watch that because uh, you know, you can win a vinyl and you can win a freaking uh, souvenir and you can also be a part of this awesome list. I highly suggest that you guys check out the vinyl giveaway list and just listen to it because there's just so much great music there that you guys have contributed with. Uh, that was also sort of the point with that list. I wanted everyone to create it, but also to listen to it. So, I mean, you don't have to, I'm not gonna force you in any sort of way. Go and listen to that list. <laughs> I'm not gonna force you in any way. Uh, you can go and listen to it if you want to, but I, I was just listening to it now when I ate breakfast and mm, so much great music on there. So yeah, maybe there's something there that you'll just immediately fall in love with. Who knows? But anyways, that was the video for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to share, explore, and learn more about rock music, then I highly suggest you click the red subscribe button below. Also make sure you hit that bell icon beside the subscribe button because in that way, you'll always get notified when I upload new videos to this beautiful place right here. Thank you again. See you later. Bye.